In the year 2015, about 55% of the Indonesian population stayed in cities and the rest of the 45% in rural areas. With this composition, Indonesia already could not meet their own food for their own population. Indonesia is the second biggest importer of wheat, third biggest importer for soybean, as well as cane sugar. It is predicted that by year 2030, more than two-thirds of Indonesians will stay in cities. Only less than one-third of Indonesians will still stay in rural areas. So where will the food come from? Urban people normally do not do farming. They rely on food produced by rural people who still do farming. Some of them, but certainly not enough. What about imported food? Year 2030 will be the year for G0 era, where each country will struggle for their own food. Even if we have enough income at that time, there won't be any guarantee that there will be enough food to import. Other countries may have similar urban problems like Indonesia, but Indonesia will face it about 20 years ahead of average countries in the world. The problem faced by Indonesia in 2030 will only happen to other countries in 2050. Why? Indonesia is an archipelago country. More than 13,000 islands spread in a very wide area. Unfortunately, even now, already more than 55% of the population stay in only one small island called Jawa. The Jawa area only represents 6% of all the Indonesian area. Soon, all of Jawa will become a super metropolitan with more than 175 million people in 2030. How are all these urban people going to eat? Before it's too late, it is now the time for us to realize a huge problem that will come to us. It is now for us to worry about our own food. That's why we've initiated a movement. We call it, I Grow My Own Food. It's a platform for everybody. Urban and rural people can contribute with their own resources for food production. People tend to move to urban areas because there's not much economic activities in rural areas, which are mostly agricultural areas. Even banking sectors only spent about 3% of their financing for agriculture. No capital in, no economic turnover, no job. So people are moving into the cities. We must now turn it back. We must channel capital to agricultural sectors. If you can't do your own farming for your own food, at least you can still allocate a small part of your savings to be channeled into agricultural areas to produce food for your own need. This is exactly what iGrow is doing. We are integrating resources most needed in agriculture. We find a market for agricultural produce. We utilize otherwise unutilized or underutilized land. We upgrade farming skills for most farmers so we can meet the market need in quality and quantity produce. And last but not least, we are also channeling capital to these sectors. With this effort, there will be more interesting economic activities, not only in Jawa rural areas, but also in most of the islands throughout Indonesia. People will be more spread out, and there will be less stress to the cities. But of course we cannot do it ourselves. The movement of I Grow My Own Food will only have a real impact if more and more people participate in the program. We need you to act, not by spending most of your money. Just contribute a small fund to sponsor our thousands of farmers. That will be enough. We need to support those farmers to keep them farming and growing our food. The future is dependent on what we are doing today. So let's do it today to save our future. For the world citizen outside Indonesia, you will have a chance to learn from us in Indonesia on how we address our urban problems and our future food. Our success will also be yours to learn, so you can contribute to our success with joining the I Grow My Own Food movement. It'll be yours as well, so act on it today.